Hey, what's up everyone? So today I am going to show a step-by-step -step process of how to install this Fastway Spark Arrestor. Um, I have officially entered my second ever dirt bike race and it's coming up here pretty quickly. So pretty stoked about that. One of the requirements from the US Forest Service is to have the Spark Arrestor on your bike, which on my 2017 KTM SXF. I do not have it yet, so we are gonna get that going and get it installed today. Okay, so this is basically just how it comes. Um, real simple packaging. I'll open it up here. Has some screws and bolts to attach it to your bike. This is the actual spark arrestor cone itself. This basically just drops right in there and this goes over it, obviously, and that's that. All right, so they also have some a sticker, Fastway sticker in here, and some marketing material, which I just found out is actually not instructions of how to install this thing. But if you go to pmbhowto.com, uh, they do actually have pretty good step-by-step -step instructions. So if my video doesn't do the trick for you, go ahead and go there and get the uh, details. Okay, so on my KTM, the end cap is actually attached to the muffler with screws. Now on most bikes, they are gonna come stock attached with rivets. So what you're gonna have to do is get a drill bit just slightly larger than the size of this hole in the rivet and slowly and gently start drilling through the center of the rivet. As you start drilling further down, the end of the rivet should just pop off on the outside and if you keep drilling a little bit further, the inside of the rivet is gonna fall into the packing material on the inside. You're going to take the end cap off and fish out all the ends of the rivets that had fallen into the packing material. All right, so all bikes are gonna be a little bit different, but on mine, I, in order to remove it, I have to take out these two uh, screws here and then remove the spring and just pull real hard to get it off. So we'll start by undoing these. Okay, so now I have to take off the spring and I have this nifty spring <laughs> tool here. If you don't have one, I highly recommend getting one. All you do is just kind of grab it here and pull real hard, it's super easy. And then, just wiggle. <laughs> got it. <laughs> so now that I've got this off the bike, the next step is to actually take the end cap off. So to make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna put it in the vise. Make sure to use a towel a rag, a shop rag to protect it against it and always put it against the bottom here. So now that I took the screws out, I'm going to have to take this end cap off and it's probably gonna take some, uh, some persuasion to do that. So I'm gonna hit it a couple times with a mallet and may also use a heat gun to, to uh, loosen up any glue. Now that the end cap's off and I can really see what's inside, it's pretty obvious that I'm gonna have to cut back all this excess packing material or it'd just be a huge pain in the butt to get that new spark arrestor in. 
I'm just using regular old paper cutting scissors here to trim it back to where it'll be about even with the end of the muffler where the two pieces are gonna join. And then just use a screwdriver to tuck in all the extra stray pieces so it's nice and clean. The new end cap wasn't really going on real easily, so I don't know if I crashed at some point and it got dented in, but I just used some pliers to bend it back out. After quite a while hammering away on it, trying to get it in while in the vise, I took it out and it seemed to work a lot better. I just felt like I wasn't able to get the right angle or use the same force while it was in the vise. Well, I just realized I kind of messed up. I forgot to put the sealant on here, so I'm gonna have to take this off now. Put the sealant around the edge to keep it tight and uh, hammer it back on. I'm gonna use this stuff here, and I'm gonna do like a thin layer around the edge here. There we go. All right, so now that that's back in, I am I found a drill bit um, just ever so slightly smaller than the screw. And I'm gonna drill all the holes, see how it goes. Now, the reason I have to drill these holes in the new end cap is because it doesn't come pre-drilled from the factory. There's obviously already holes in the muffler because the old end cap was screwed into it. So that does make things a little less nerve wracking. Um, all I really have to do is line up the drill bit in the center of the hole in the muffler and drill straight through the new end cap. And then I can just use the screws that came with it and with the new spark arrestor and tighten it down. So there's five holes total that I need to drill out. So I start by just drilling out and screwing in the first two. I don't know if this actually makes a difference or not by doing it this way, but the reason I do it is because when I'm drilling out the remaining three, I just wanna make sure that nothing moves around and everything is lined up properly. Okay, so now that the end cap is on, I'm going to actually put the cone in there. That just sits right in, make sure it lines up. There's kind of like a little slot and it comes with two short screws and one long one. And you just put the end on. And there you have it. She is back on and ready to race. <laughs>